Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Hypothesis Testing Part 5 Test of One Variance The Chi-Square Test Before watching this video, we recommend viewers to watch our previous videos on hypothesis testing. Introduction to hypothesis testing and one sample Z test, one sample T test and student's T distribution, two sample T test and paired T test. Links to these videos have been provided in the description of this video. When should we use the chi-square test? In some situations, we would like to check whether variation or variance has changed. If we know what was the historic standard deviation or variance, we can perform chi-square test to compare current variation with the historic variation. The null and alternate hypothesis in chi-square test. We want to find out whether variation in a process has significantly changed, either increased or reduced. Then the null hypothesis will be H0 sigma equal to sigma 0. Sigma 0 could be either historical value of the standard deviation or it could be a reference value of the standard deviation. The alternate hypothesis can be one of the following. Sigma not equal to sigma 0. This will be a two-tailed test with alpha risk distributed on both the tails equally. H1 sigma greater than sigma 0 this would be a one tail test with alpha risk distributed on right tail and if it is sigma less than sigma 0 then one tail test with alpha risk distributed on left tail. Let us understand the calculations involved in chi-square test. Calculate the chi-square statistic with this formula that is n minus 1 into sample variance divided by population variance where S square is the variance of the sample with size n. The chi-square calculated should be compared with the critical value of chi-square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom where n is the sample size. Please watch our video on chi-square distribution to understand it better. Link is provided in the description of this video. As explained in our video on chi-square distribution, chi-square alpha denotes value such that area to the right is equal to alpha. For left tail test, area to the left of the critical value should be alpha. If area to the left is alpha, area to the right would be 1 minus alpha. Therefore, the left tail critical values are denoted as chi-square 1 minus alpha. Now let us see an application example of chi-square test. A pizza company has found that historical standard deviation for pizza delivery time is 4 minutes. The improvement team claims that an improved process was piloted for 26 pizza deliveries and they could achieve standard deviation of 3 minutes. Should the management adopt new process and recognize the team? Assume normal distribution and confidence level of 95%. Here, H0 sigma is equal to 4 would be the null hypothesis and sigma less than 4 would be the alternate hypothesis as we want to test for reduction of standard deviation. Historical standard deviation sigma equals 4 minutes. New process standard deviation based on 26 deliveries is 3. So chi-square calculated will be n minus 1 s square upon sigma square that is equal to 26 minus 1 into 3 square by 4 square which can be calculated as 14.0625. Now we refer to the chi-square distribution table and for alpha equal to 0 0.05, 1 minus alpha would be 0.95. Therefore we look at chi-square distribution for 0.95 area to the right. Chi-square for left tail with alpha 0.05 and 25 degrees of freedom is 14.611. As calculated value 14.0625 is less than critical value on the left tail, 
we must reject the null hypothesis and therefore management should recognize the team considering 95% confidence level this is a graphical representation of the situation observe that calculated test statistic 14.0625 is in the critical region and is to the left of the critical value 14.61 There is a good online calculator available on the website mathcracker.com. Here you only need to provide the input. Let us do that. First, specify the null hypothesis that is h0 sigma square equal to sigma 0 square. Alternate hypothesis sigma square less than sigma 0 square. Hypothesize variance sigma 0 square is 4 square that is 16 sample variance is 3 square that is 9 sample size is 26 pizza deliveries significance level is 0 0.05 and we just asked this calculator to solve so click on the solve okay so it has solved our problem and it has stated H0 sigma square equal to 16, HA sigma square less than 16 and uh, it says based on the information provided the significance level is alpha 0 5 and the rejection region for this left tail test is chi square less than 14.611 which matches with our table value. The test statistic also matches with our value 14.063 decision also matches. Since it is observed that the calculated chi-square value 14.063 is less than the critical value 14.611, it is concluded that the null hypothesis is rejected. Conclusion, it is concluded that null hypothesis H0 is rejected. Therefore, there is enough evidence to claim that population variance sigma is less than 16 at 0 0.05 significance level. The confidence level that we had chosen was 95%. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click on the subscribe and bell icon to get notified for future videos.